been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time, they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to rest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedown right away. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, this. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. So Herb Dean, third man Great in there fight. for this one. Great. All right, here he is, the founding father of modern MMA, Bruce Lee, ready to go for round one. The speed and the angles just absurd, and a heart got to simulate in training. You think you got a beat on him, and then you end up twitching on the canvas. So we'll see how the opponent chooses to defend Bruce Lee here in the early go. Ooh, head kick Lance is hurt. Right hook to the head block. Ooh. Oh man, these fighters are training strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. So one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't ah. take so many upside the head. Somebody's going to sleep. That was a big check. Circling towards the left now. Oh, nice. Nice. 
bunches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, big elbow. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Right idea, wrong execution. The left punch misses. Now lands a solid punch there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Big body kick. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Just over two minutes to go. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. There it is, another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it as the bout continues. You know, we'll keep an eye on it, but the person that should be addressing it is his opponent. His opponent isn't doing anything to, to deter him from doing this constantly. He's got to change something if he wants to fight this fight and win this fight. Nice block. Oh, just misses with the kick. Unable to connect with the right hand. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Liver kick. Under a minute now to go in round one. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. Pretty good kicks there by Lee. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight, the kicks has been the dance. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shots that he landed. Great, Great shot, job. Great shot. Oh, he lands another strike to the body with real... Oh, oh he's getting it again. Fifteen seconds. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Both fighters throwing heat now. What an end to round one. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the fighter's got a cut on his lip, not necessarily a Robbie Lawler lip opening, if you know what I'm talking about, but certainly something that could be a source of adversity here moving forward. Cut man in there quickly to try to shore it up. All right, big moment in that round, of course, the strike that caused the cut to the lip. Certainly it's not shades of Robbie Lawler nor Alistair Overeem, but the cut does bear watching as we move forward. And it still hurts. I mean, it still hurts. Every, I mean, honestly, everything hurts in the octagon, and that shot looked like it hurt a ton. But what the story will be is that it opened up that cut on the lip. How does he avoid taking too much damage right. back to that spot? He's got to move his head off that center line as he's moving forward. And there's only so much a cut man can do to stop bleeding in the mouth area, so we will continue to monitor that cut as this fight presses forward. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Oh, that's going to soften him up. Massive knee to the body. He's really limping now. Clearly, the leg kicks have had the desired effect. I'm not sure how many more of those he can take. Push, 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 push. Rips the body there. Oh, nice. Nice shot there by the champ. Well, you can sense the court. Oh, 
his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. Now he's got hurt bad. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Got to capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste those opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you got to find a way to finish the fight. Starting to do some. Oh! 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 Big shot to the head. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Plenty of time to go here, round two. Circling towards the left, guys. Whiffs on that offering. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Throws the tee. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Out of range with that one. Oh, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. You be first. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Beautiful kick to the body. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. 30 seconds to go here. Lee's eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right through the target. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, All right, that's God. the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Ready. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight.
All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes. Oh, oh man, he's hurt. There's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Lee. Big knee there to the chest. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Misses again with a right punch. Two minutes have gone by. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very even the match fight. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Body kick now by Lee. Oh, oh he's in trouble. Good work, guys. Come on. Cable of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Let it go now. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up is going to strike him. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him it really messed with the game plan. Oh, well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That's a oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, this could just about do it. Right here, you gotta empty the gas tank, John. You gotta just go forward and let everything fly. Nice straight right, Lance. 20 seconds to go. Can't take many of those, you better check. Ten seconds now to go in the round. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole, and I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up, he was battered, he was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It Ready shows fight? that he has Ready. taken far too many. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Oh! He's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Hands high, hands high. Oh, the high kick lands. Well, he lands another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how he needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Whoa! Power shots landing on both sides, and the chins continue to hold up. to the head, it's blocked. He gets caught by that straight hand. Went for the inside leg kick. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite... How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh! And again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Oh, big left. Oh, my goodness. Big head kick. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Outstanding output on both sides. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. He's taking aim at that cut right now and hard to blame him, right? Might as well continue to target that area and see if you might get right over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, nice high kick. Under a minute to go. Nice body kick there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Right back. He's hurt the man right here. Go. Side the closed guard now. I mean, he went right.
right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse, given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling, though, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm Ready interested fight. to see what a changes Ready. he makes to give himself an opportunity. Oh, straight punch. It's there again. Big roundhouse now just misses. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard. Oh, that's the top of the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, this deep. Lee's doing a nice job targeting that area, continuing to attack that already compromised and swollen eye. Straight punch lands. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. Able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Lee. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. All right, late in the fight now. He needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stuff. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. A swing and a miss by Lee. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Oh, flying knee to the head. Fighters separate. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, boy, look at that gas. Just misses with the straight right.
All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often.